happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you all how to apply press-ons with rubber base gel and i'm super excited because um, a company by the name of joy faith fashion reached out to me and sent me a couple of press-on nails to review so let me show you guys what they look like okay so these are the press-on nails that they sent me to review i'm going to go ahead and unpackage each one so that you can see what they look like up close but um yeah i guess i'll just go ahead and start with this design here this one's probably one of my favorite ones so this is a pink matte french tip um, and I love the flames. I love the checker design. So I'm gonna open this up to see what all comes with the press on nails. Let me read the box. It says Joy Fay Fashion, focus on the nail artist. And it does come with 24 press on nails. It has more information about the kit. The kit includes 24 fake nails, nail glue, three woven pads, mini file and cuticle stick. And on the back, um, Looks like they put the sticker over the back, but I'm sure this is all the instructions. But yeah, let me open this up really quick and show you guys what they look like. Okay. All right, so it comes with, okay, this is a little instruction manual. This is really tiny, by the way. Um, but these are the instructions on how to apply the nails. These are the nail adhesive tabs. I love that they have the numbers on them. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but they do have the numbers. Um, I did review press ones from another brand that had numbers as well, and that just makes life so much easier. So if you wanna use that, you can. It comes with the nail glue, um, a cuticle stick, a nail buffer, and wow, it comes with lint-free wipes. That's the first time I've actually seen a, a nail kit come with lint-free wipes. So that's pretty interesting. So that's cool. I mean, the only like con to that is that you do need to dehydrate your nail bed in order for the nails to adhere properly and to remove dirt and debris from your nails. So I do think that having an alcohol pad would serve a better purpose in this kit, but um, it's still good with all the items that's included. Um, so you would actually need to supply your own alcohol or dehydrating mechanism. So that is that. And then let's take a look at these nails. I wanna see how they fit on the nail bed. Yeah, this here is a size zero. Zero normally fits my nails. Yeah, look at that. That's a perfect fit, sidewall to sidewall. Yeah, I like that, okay. Nice, nice sturdy quality. It's thicker at the tip, thinner at the, at the base. Yeah, that's a nice fit on the nail. Look at that, I like it, okay. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's nice, okay. And let's see what this one is. This one's a four. These do seem like they're a little bit wider at the base than what I'm used to, so that's pretty good. So for those who have wider nail beds, these might be a good option. Yeah, these are really cute. I like them a lot. Yeah, these are cute. I like them. And I like the matte finish. So that's one set. And I'll look at another set with you guys. I'll take a look at this one with you guys because it got some bling in it. Y'all know I love me some bling. Okay, the same items. It comes with the nail tabs, instructions. Uh, um, a file, cuticle stick, nail glue, and then lint-free wipes. And then let's take a look at the nails. Ooh. Oh no, I gotta pull this out. This is so pretty, you guys. Look at this. Love it. That is so cute. Yeah, that's perfect. Fits right on the accent nail. Yeah, these are cute, y'all. These are really cute. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, I like these. Very cool, okay. That diamond looks really nice. I'm here, for, and it looks like it's secured on there pretty well. Y'all can see that it's sealed all the way around. I feel like with other press-ons I've had, like the seal isn't all that great, but this one looks like it's sealed on really, really well. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but yeah, I like the seal on the um, embellishments there. So yeah, special thanks to Joy Faye Fashion for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of all the products that I talked about. If I have a discount code, I'll also include that on the screen as well as in the description box below. But yeah, I'm gonna take a look at all these nails and I'm gonna decide which design I'm gonna do. Um, but this is just an up close of the other set here. This is a really beautiful matte um, design with some cool abstract. And then this one here is a really cute French tip 
with gold lining and just a hint of bling. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the nails that I want. So these are my natural nails here. I'm ready to remove them and put on a new set. So I'm gonna clip these down. I'm gonna prep off camera. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box of how I prep my nails so y'all can see how I get to the next step. And then I'll go ahead with my application. Alrighty, so I am back. And this time around, you guys, I decided to apply my press on nails with rubber base coat. You all know I've been really obsessed with rubber base. And so I'm going to be using this clear rubber base coat from Born Pretty to apply my press-ons. I have already pushed back my cuticles, file shaped, um, buff my nails off camera. I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit of swipe. You can also use alcohol, just something to really go ahead and dehydrate and cleanse the nails, get that dust and debris off. I'm going to do that to each of the nails really quick. Next, you can go in with your primer of choice. I'm actually going to be going in with my Young Nails Protein Bond. I know I'm going to go in with two layers of my primer. This is going to ensure that the, the nails will last for two plus weeks, you guys. And I do have a dedicated video showing how I prep my nails off camera, so I'll leave that linked in the description box below. Alrighty, so after your primer has been applied, next you want to go in and take your full cover tips and etch them out. I've already done that off camera, but essentially you just want to go in with a nail drill and just etch the inside of the t nail tip so that it has a rough surface, making, making the gel easier to adhere to it. So I've already sized out my press on nails. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply the rubber base coat to the inside of the nail. This is essentially going to be like the gel X method. So you'll take a little bit of the rubber base gel. You really don't need a lot at all, but this is how much I have on my brush. And all I'm going to do is do a thin layer of the gel on the inside of the nail tip like so. So I just do a really thin layer on the inside of the nail tip. And then I'll just do one swipe down to get just a little bit more product there at the bottom. And then I have my rechargeable gooseneck lamp that I love to use when I'm doing my Gel-X nails. And so I'll use that to apply the nail tip, okay? And the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and um, line it up to the cuticle area and push down and then cure it underneath the lamp. And you'll wanna just flash cure this for about 15 to 20 seconds. I wish I had waited to do my thumbnail on my other hand so you guys could see a little bit better about what I'm doing, but here we are. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is what that first nail is looking like, and I did really good with the application because I have almost no spillage, you guys. So next I'm going to go in with the middle finger here. You'll repeat that same process. You will lightly coat the inside of that nail with the rubber base, and then whatever's left, you just kind of swipe it on the inside of the nail tip. Again, you will take the lamp here. Hopefully I can get a better view for you guys to see, but essentially you wanna start at the cuticle area and allow the gel to work its way down. And once it reaches the end of the tip, you'll put it underneath the lamp. And again, you hold it here for about 10 to 15 seconds. That's what the second nail looks like. I'll show you guys this process one more time and then I'll do the rest off camera. I'm gonna take just a little bit of gel inside of the nail tip, lightly coat it like so. And then just put just a little bit of extra product here at the bottom and that's it that's all you need you turn your nail lamp on and again sorry my, my nails are long but you'll want to start just at the cuticle and allow the gel product to work its way down and then cure Alrighty, so i'm going to speed through me applying the rest of the nails Okay, happy people. So as I'm speeding through the rest of this application, I just want to say that I am going to be doing a two week wear test. So definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to see how these held up for over two weeks. This is what all the nails are looking like after they've been applied. You guys, it took me all of about five minutes to do. So that's amazing. So what I am going to do is I do have just a smidge of spillage. It's really just on, I guess my middle finger and my ring finger so whenever you have any spillage when you're doing this method all you have to do is pull your skin away from the gel that spilled right like so and then I'll do the same thing on this nail here you just pull your skin away from the nail from the gel and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my nail drill here I love this cordless rechargeable drill you guys but you'll just take your nail drill and you'll just file that extra gel off and when you're doing this with press-ons, you want to be careful with the gentle hand because you don't want to accidentally file off the design of the nail.
So you'll just dust your nails off. Originally, I was planning on doing base and top coat on top of these press on nails, but then I just realized that I actually want to just do a wear test and see how they hold up as is. So I'm actually not going to apply any base coat, any top coat. I want to see how they wear, if there's any like uh, wearing at the tips or anything like that. Um, I don't actually need to file and shape these or anything like that. They The shape is really perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some cuticle oil on and we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys, ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my press on nails turned out. They are super cute and super adorable. This is a great like little everyday set or this could even be one that you could dress up and wear for like a wedding or bridal shower or baby shower, whatever. It's really, really cute. So I'm gonna do a two week wear test on these nails. So I will let you all know how these hold up after a week and then after two weeks. This is a part of my press on nail series. And so um, definitely stay tuned if you all are curious about other ways to have a product plus on nails. I'll leave that link down in the description box below. Alrighty, so I'm back with a three day update on these press on nails. Um, so this is what they are looking like. There is ever so slight new growth on this nail here. Um, but they're all holding up really strong except for dun 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 my thumbnail and it actually just popped off last night. Um, I stubbed my finger on my air fryer when I was putting some food in it and so my nail popped off and I actually just noticed that my rhinestone popped off on this finger. That The rhinestone's actually been holding up pretty good. I didn't do anything to reinforce them, but one did pop off here. Um, I'm sure if I had to apply some base coat, top coat, they would have stayed on. But again, just wanted to uh, give these nails a true wear test. So I just want to see how the actual press on design itself wears. And overall, it's, it's wearing really well. The gold trim isn't fading at all and um, no other lifting at all. These nails are really, really secure. Um, again, I did apply them using my, um, what is it? The rubber, yeah, the rubber base gel from um, Born Pretty and it's holding up really well. This nail does have a few air bubbles in it so I don't know how long it's gonna hold up. And if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think I actually put down a primer when I did this nail. So that could be part of the reason why it popped off because the, all the other ones feel really secure. So I'm thinking that's why this popped off but even given that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it again. I'm just gonna apply it with some super glue. So I'm gonna go through and just rough, rough up the surface of the nail really quick. And I'm going to dehydrate it with some alcohol, like so. I'm going to go ahead and give this Young Nails Press On Glue a try. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I've yet to use it, so I want to put it to use. Oh no, you guys, I'm so sad it dried out. Oh my gosh. I am so mad about that because I actually have not even had a chance to use this glue. Oh, that sucks. I got it about a year ago, so that's my fault. I should have used it when I got it. This makes me so sad. I just went ahead and reapplied that nail off camera. This is what the nail looks like after it's been reapplied with the nail glue. So yeah, I will be back with another update. I'm hoping to do a one week update and a two week update. So um, this one hopefully will stay on that length of time. It is exactly a week and two days later, so nine days. And this is how the nails are holding up so far. As you all can see, there is a little bit of new growth on all the nails here, here, and here, as well as on this hand, that new growth is um, is growing out there. Um, the diamond, I never put it back on here. So yeah, that one popped off, you all saw, like three days in. This nail did pop off, but I hit it with that Young Nail Super Glue, and it's actually been holding strong ever since then. I love to see that the design itself is still holding up with no additional reinforcement or anything like that. There is ever so slight chipping wear and tear at the tip of this nail. Um, but what's interesting about these nails too is that the shape hasn't wavered at all. Like sometimes when I wear press on nails, the shape starts to kinda, um, I don't know, like morph a little bit because of the wear and tear on it. I feel like these, the shape of the nails have stayed true. Um, just that there's been ever so slight uh, wear at the end as far as the nail color and design is concerned. So, so far so good. I am gonna keep these on one more week. It's been exactly two weeks, actually 16 days to be exact. But this is how the nails are holding up. I will say overall, I'm very impressed. Um, they are all still on. Um, 
as far as the bling is concerned um, that nail popped off I think maybe a week after I applied it um, and I'm surprised that the rest of the bling has not fallen off these press-ons so whatever they used to adhere it was really good overall the shape of the nails are still great there is a little bit of like wear and tear where like the paint on the nail is coming off but overall like it still looks really good you all can see the new growth here on all the nails um, there is slight lifting though on this particular nail here on my thumbnail there is a ton of lifting like I could literally put my whole thumb underneath here um, and so it's barely holding on if you all can see like right here is probably where that rubber base is still on my nail but it's still holding strong um, and then on this hand here you all can see my new growth I do think these nails can still last me like a few more days even another week if I really really wanted it to but I'm actually ready to take this set off and even on the tips of these nails here you can see there's just a little bit of wear and tear but what I like about um, how these are wearing is even though the color of the nail is coming off the actual shape of the nail is still there So these are some really strong press on nails and you guys I've done a lot with these nails I've literally built two dresser drawers. I've assembled two furniture chairs I actually did a, a feel on somebody's nails. So I was using a drill and a drill nicked these nails a few times and um, I've just been doing so much. I've been packing unpacking boxes everything and so I've definitely put these to the test and they have held up very very well so overall, I do really like the Joy Fay um, fashion nails. Um, they're press-ons. They're really good. I think they're high quality. I mean, dare I say it, they're kind of almost comparable to BTR Box a little bit because... I mean, these nails, they're holding strong. Like, I really like them a lot. So another special thanks to Joy Faye for um, sending these products over for review and for sponsoring today's video. Um, I had a lot of fun working with these products. If you all are interested in getting your hands on some of these press-ons, I am going to leave a link to everything that was used in today's video down in the description box below. I am back with a three-week update, and this is how the nails are looking. Um, the thumbnails have popped off. Um, I actually went ahead and just kind of wedged them off the nail you all know this one had originally popped off and this one it started to get a little bit loose and so i went ahead and just popped it on off but this is all the new growth on the nails you all see my nails are pretty grown out now and i am so ready for these nails to come off but yeah i definitely think using rubber base coat to apply press-ons is a great option again there is some lifting right i think you all can see here there is some lifting but the lifting isn't to the point where the nail is going to pop off i'm still impressed with these rhinestones that joy Fay used um, on these press-on nails because they have not went anywhere y'all and when i say i've been doing everything i'm talking heavy duty stuff like i said furniture moving working packing unpacking like these nails, these rhinestones, baby, it didn't go nowhere. So I'd like to know what rhinestone glue they used. But yeah, I just wanted to give you all that three-week update and definitely recommend this method. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!